everyone, Nicole Byram here, Dietitian and Health Promotions Manager with the Canadian Celiac Association. I'm here today to discuss with you Health Canada's proposal to add a maximum level of inorganic arsenic in rice-based foods intended specifically for infants and young children. Why are we at the Canadian Celiac Association concerned about arsenic levels in foods? Arsenic is naturally occurring in the environment and is found at low levels in many types of foods, including rice. Why is rice under the microscope over other foods? Inorganic arsenic exposure happens mainly through drinking groundwater with high levels of arsenic, eating food prepared with this kind of water, and eating food crops irrigated with high arsenic water. Now rice is grown under flooded conditions and will absorb arsenic through both the soil and the water, making it a source of dietary inorganic arsenic. The concentrations of arsenic in food sold in Canada are low, and have been stable for many years. However, long-term exposure to very high levels of inorganic arsenic may contribute to increased risk of certain cancers and other adverse health effects. This makes the Canadian Celiac Association a major stakeholder in this proposal due to the fact that our community tends towards a higher consumption of rice-based products due to our necessary avoidance of wheat, rye, barley, and their crossbred grains. The Canadian Celiac Association is in support of this proposal and its alignment with both the European Commission and US Food and Drug Commission's minimal level of 0.1 parts per million for inorganic arsenic in rice destined for the production of food for infants and young children. So what can we do within our celiac population and as consumers to minimize our risk of higher than recommended levels of inorganic arsenic in our diet? Firstly, you can soak and rinse rice before cooking. Use a ratio of six cups of water to one cup of rice to cook your rice. Drain the rice after it's finished cooking to remove about 50% of the arsenic. Next, choose white rice. Now normally as a dietitian, I suggest brown rice due to its nutrient dense, dense values and higher fiber content. However, for our community, we are trying to minimize exposure. Therefore, white rice is the better option. Next, eat a variety of side dishes. Rather than rice, try quinoa, or my favorite, have roasted potatoes or baked yams. Finally, eat whole foods. If you are eating prepackaged foods, look for and try to avoid products that contain brown rice flour or brown rice syrup. And remember, the Canadian Celiac Association is here to support you, and we are proudly working with Health Canada towards ensuring a safe food supply for all Canadians who require a gluten-free diet. On a side note, as many of you know, both my daughter and my husband have celiac disease. As a result, we consume a higher than normal diet that contains rice products and rice-based products. My daughter loves rice crackers. I bake with rice-based flours and we enjoy white rice on a weekly basis. I have a requisition for their inorganic arsenic levels to be tested. I do not have the results yet, but we'll share these with the community when they come in. I feel they will be a good representation of the average child and adult living in Canada. Many thanks to our wonderful community. Please email me at nicole.byram at celiac.ca if you have any questions pertaining to this announcement. Thanks very much everybody. Have a wonderful day and enjoy your weekend.